Hi TFB Tevers, Mike here, and for almost 24 hours this week I was not bloke on the range because YouTube had dusted me off good and proper and nuked me from orbit. No prior warning. To cut a very, very long story short, um, they nuked my channel just before 3 p.m. on Wednesday the 23rd. Um, I appealed this, and then uh, 37 minutes after the initial banination, my appeal had been denied. In the intervening period, I put the word out, I appealed through every channel I possibly could. I had a massive, massive outpouring of support from uh, the community, both the viewers and other channels, who, everyone who had a personal contact uh, at YouTube because they're a big channel, for instance, uh, they contacted them, thank you all so much. Even if you just filled in a contact form uh, and sent it to YouTube, loads of people did that. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's been brilliant. Um, I found out about a uh, something called a trusted flagger program on YouTube, which is a sort of semi-secret backdoor to talk to a real person rather than just the same bot that had banninated you previously. Um, and yeah, massive, massive thanks to absolutely everybody, Facebook, Patreon, and so on, who rallied to the cause. Now, the big deal here is that uh, if this could happen to me, one of the most innocuous and boring YouTube uh, gun channels, it can happen to anyone gun related or not for any t for, for, at any time for no reason anyway we are back up with the community strike which we are still appealing and uh, we're going to take it from here anyway bloke on the range will be moving forward i will keep producing content at about the same rate for tfb tv um, going multi-platform carl of in range was right this is the way forward so we're going to be on uh, on full 30 on bit shoot on utah gun exchange possibly it might add another one in there and uh, we'll try and break this YouTube monopoly. Anyway, thanks so much, and uh, see you again sometime. Bye. All right, guys, James Reeves, TFB TV, mailroom number 13. So I'm calling this the TFB TV, I hate you guys special, but really, I'm mad at myself. It's really, it's my fault. I made a series of poor decisions that led to this, I, I, and I'm taking it out on you guys. I, I think it's also partially your fault. I mean, you, have, you share some, primarily, all of the blame. But uh, we're, that's neither here nor there. Somebody sent in a two-pounder of this Glow Belgian-style Blondale last week at mailroom number 12. Thank you for sending that in. So I go to the deli today. It's 90-something degrees out. And I go to my favorite corner deli, and I pick out a nice, refreshing blueberry pint that I was gonna drink and enjoy out here in the backyard. But here's where the poor decision-making chain started. I got on Patreon and I said, hey, Patreon supporters, I want you guys to tell me what beer I'm drinking. You know, do you hate me? Do you want me to drink a quarter gallon of a seven and a half percent Belgian style blonde ale, or can I enjoy this nice pint of 4% alcohol, blueberry, refreshing blueberry wheat beer? And the votes came in so the vast majority of you want to see me get extremely messed up on TFB TV mailroom. Congratulations, you win. That's what you get. If you're a Patreon supporter, you get a modicum of control over my life. And you also get, if you're a $1 supporter, you get entered every month for a free Blue Alpha Gear belt. And if you're a $2 supporter, then you get two entries. So go on there. You can maybe win a belt, but you can certainly vote and what beer I drink and other impertinent decisions in my life. Now watch me go to jail. We'll see how impertinent that decision is. So in any event, I got two pint glasses from the Bulldogs, one of my favorite bars here in New Orleans, Louisiana. And we're going to go ahead and fill both of them up. God, this stuff is like pea yellow. Ugh. I don't want there to be any accusations of cheating. So we're gonna fill up both of these bad boys, this two pounds of beer. Seven and a half percent. Now bear in mind, this is 32 ounces of beer. This is more than what's in a bottle of wine. And this is seven and a half percent, which is almost as alcoholic as most wines. So this is like I'm enjoying a bottle of wine by myself with you guys on mailroom. So let's go ahead, get started. I'm gonna take a big tug off this guy. Oh, wow, that's kind of flat. I like to be a little fuzzier. Gavin Z or I or something like that, Fort Wayne, Indiana. 
Dear TFB Mailroom, James, greetings from the lovely state of Indiana. Thank you for posting so many great videos. I especially enjoy the community involvement with the Mailroom videos. I enjoy it too. I do have one question. With the ever-tightening control that YouTube exerts over gun-related content, do you see TFB TV moving away from YouTube and onto other video hosting sites? Stay hydrated. Gavin, P.S. I love your shorts. I do too. Mm. So as far as that goes, you know, again, and I always use Mailroom as an opportunity to beg you guys for Patreon dollars. Um, we, we're getting more and more videos demonetized. It is tightening up. Guys are getting booted off, like Chris Bartachi, Great guy, great channel. And really the most innocuous channel. The guy's as innocent as a baby lamb. A baby lamb with a big golden beard. And he got booted off for God knows why. So in any event, yeah, we think that's going to happen at some point. I'm not sure where we're going to go. More likely than not, it's just going to be native hosting on TFB TV. We have a few other things that are like spinoffs that are in the works, but I don't want to talk about those until we really figure out what we're doing vis-a-vis -vis TFB TV and YouTube. I'd like to stay on YouTube just because there's so many people there. You guys seem to enjoy it. And uh, it's all right. I like Vimeo a lot. I really like Vimeo, and so that would be, if I had it my way, we would, we would just go to Vimeo uh, because there's a, a pretty good audience there, and Amazon, Amazon Watch Instant. But in any event, we'll see, uh, you know, those freaking San Franciscans, man, they have no idea what they're talking about, and uh, it's a real pain in the ass. We're gonna have to do something. Something's gotta give, you know what I mean? Okay, Matt S. from Farmersville, Texas. Mm. It's got a nice little wax seal on here. Dear James, I've been watching TFB for a while now and I love most of the videos. Not all of them. Thank you for the hard work. I'm a 34-year-old male from Texas and I proudly carry my trusty Walther P99 daily. Funny story is that I had no idea that it was the gun of James Bond until after people started giving me shit about it. Attending a tactical shooting day out at the range, one of the guys had me try his and after 15 rounds, I was sold. That afternoon I went and bought one. I do have a Glock 17 Gen 3, but can't remember the last time it was on the range. Anyways, keep up the good work on the channel. If you're wondering, the ink is called Emeralds of Cheese or China or Children or something like that. I can't read that. Uh, by, by T. Urban. Matt S. It's really interesting. I, I, I want to make fun of you for the ink thing and the cursive, but this is really great. I think uh, you guys, all your little hobbies that you expose me to with your correspondence to the TFB TV mailroom. I actually really appreciate it. And this is kind of like a weird ink. I wish you guys could, could see this. It's kind of cool. Oh man, two letters down, one pint down, one James still up. Oh, and what the hell are you doing? You got a Glock 17, but you're using a P99? God. Walther sponsor you? He didn't sponsor me. Wiley Machine Company, Prince George, Virginia. Guys, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't feeling that a little bit. I think I just drank that entire thing in five minutes. Oh, thank God this one's short. Ah, dear James, I'm a 26-year-old machinist and welder in Virginia, and I'm pretty new to your channel, but I did get one video in, and I subscribed. Nice. What video was it? I really enjoy the content. I started a YouTube channel where I do reviews like everybody else, but what sets me apart from all the other channels is I make my own gun parts for my gun builds and I show you how to do it. If you could read this in a mail time video and do a shout out for my young channel, that would be awesome. You to man, Josh. All right, I know I'm not that drunk yet. So let me go over this one more time. Dear James, I'm a 26 year old machinist and welder in Virginia. I'm actually pretty new to your channel, but I did get one video in and I subscribe. Really enjoy the content. Started a YouTube channel where I do reviews like everybody else. What sets me apart from all the other channels is that I make my own gun parts for gun belts and I show you how to do it. If you could read this in a mail time video to do a shout out for my young channel, that would be awesome. You to man, Josh Wiley. All right, so Josh, let me pose a, a hypothetical question to you. If you wanted me to do a shout out for your young channel, why wouldn't you tell me the name of the f channel? How do, how, do I, how do I give you a shout out? 
if you don't tell me what the channel's name is. <laughs> Reply in the comments, <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll post a link to your channel in the description. Send me another letter, actually. You need, that's what you need to do. Send me another letter. And then I'll put your, uh, your channel name in the comments and in the video. <laughs> but, uh, kids, 26-year-old. Let's do the next one. Then I got to open. Pa oh, I got two more letters. I'm going to spin through them, and then I got two packages. Mm. Woo! South Riding, Virginia. That's all it says. Oh, God. This looks like a novel. Hello, James. What a wonderful channel you have here. Exclamation point. Thank you. With your gorgeous wife, thank you. Many viewer favors and gifts and very licentious selection of beer. It seems to me that you're quite a happy man. Exclamation point. Yes, I am. I've been watching TFB TV from almost the very beginning when it was you, Alex, and Patrick R. Although I favored Alex and Patrick, I'm more interested in history than the latest Polymer Wonder 9. Boo. We've got guys that are covering that now. Over you, with all these changes to the channel and with you now in the lead role, I want to congratulate you on you and your team's work. I'm not sure when you're reading this, but as of now, Miles V is trekking up a hill in Kabul talking about muzzle loaders. Yes, yeah, so you must have sent this like maybe a week or two ago. Next time you see Miles, congratulate him for his bold move. Few civilians go to Afghanistan outside of reporters and contractors, so for one to go just for guns is quite impressive. And I gotta say this, people give Miles a lot of shit, but remember, this guy was a combat Marine and he's got brass balls. Like, I would not go to Kabul right now. He's going there, hanging out. Um, it's been really interesting chatting with him. If Miles is still feeling dashing and courageous as he seems to be now, may I leave a few pipe dreams for him to run after? Here they are. The Fedorov Automat. Okay, God damn it. Here we go with the God damn old guns. Uh, I don't know any of this shit. Fedorov Automat description and shooting. If he can go to Afghanistan, he can easily go to Russia. He actually just got back from Afghanistan. The Villar Perosa shooting, the, the USAS-12, that's shotgun, I know that. Shooting prototype Russian gun, um, North Korean firearms, although he doesn't have to visit them. Shorts that don't make you look like a high school cross country runner. <laughs> Are you referring to me? And finally, some low down country white wines. I can't send any, I'm 17. But if you're drinking fruity beer, then you may as well drink alcoholic beverages made of fruit. Sincerely, Matt. And then below the line here, a little PS postscript. He says, do you read out loud everything in your letters? Are you reading this right now? Bing bong, yippee! This far, then say this. I'm James Reeves. I have a deep sexual longing for... Cut to sponsor. I have a deep sexual longing for Ventura munitions. It's probably true. All right, next. All right, last one. Thousand Oaks, California. Last letter. I got to go through this. My wife's texting me, asking where I am. Hi, James. I want to address several things, period. I like that. Man on a mission. With YouTube tightening the news on gun channels, videos, anything else they don't like, does TFB have a backup plan for its videos? Talked about that just a few minutes ago. At the time I'm writing this, I don't find you on full 30. We're, I don't think we're doing full 30. And Daily Motion, oh my God, the videos in Daily Motion are not official TFB uploads. Are people uploading TFB videos on Daily Motion? Um, I know you have videos on your blog, but some of them deleted or marked unavailable. I guess YouTube had something to do with that, so does TFB have a plan to back up its videos? Another thing is competition shooting for newbies. I'm not looking to get into any serious competition yet. Mostly just for fun. I want to try and see how effective California legal firearms can be under time stress. Similar to the matches in range uploads, but I don't know where to start. Any idea on what I should look for? I like GSSF, but I'm a pistol guy. Everybody, Californians that do competitions, help Wolf of the Aurora. That's what his name is. Help Wolf. Oh, he's written in before. Um, help Wolf of the Aurora. Let him know what you do competition-wise in California. The last thing is an update since my last letter. Okay, there we go. The USS Orlick Naval Museum made about $3,000 in direct donations. I want to thank you and everyone who donated to spread the word to help save this museum ship, 
but we still have a ways to go. At the moment, they're running a fundraiser on their website, orlick.org. This one ends on December 31st of this year. If anyone can donate, please do. If you can't, spread the word. If you use Amazon, the museum has an Amazon Smile link. God, this beer is attracting so many flies. Um, I feel like Jack Rebney. You guys ever watch that, the Winnebago Man video? That thing is hilarious. Jack Rebney, Winnebago Man. Look it up. As I wrote last time, I love history and hate to see it censored or destroyed. Thank you all. Sincerely, Wolf of the Aurora, are you still accepting gifts and fan art? Man, I'm accepting a lot more than that. Whatever you want to send in, homie. All right, packages. Hey James, TFB TV Mailroom is one of my favorite series on YouTube. Thanks for making me laugh and engaging with the community. I never get tired of the tight t-shirt and short short jokes in the comments. My brother and I design and print t-shirts under the name Jones Bros Design. We thought you might like the design. I do. We hope it's tight enough for you. It's not because it's a large. If your subscribers want one like it, they can check us out on Etsy or eBay. Thank you again, Brian Jones, Jones Bros Design. Great, man. This is actually, fabric's really nice. Um, maybe I'll try to shrink this guy up a little bit, but I'm schmedium. I'm pure schmedium. That said, the shirt's awesome. I'm going to put your link in the description, and I hope you guys get some traction because uh, this is cool, and these are actually nice. This isn't like crappy cotton. I'm a t-shirt aficionado, guys. I know my t-shirts, and this one... Um, it's not shitty. So Jones Bros, thanks for sending it in. All right, last package. Mmm. Dude, what beer did you send me? That's dead fly. Am I allowed to drink this? Am I going to get lupus or something if I drink this beer with a dead fly in it? I said I was going to do it. Two Defender holsters. These are like my most favorite holsters. These are, if you guys saw the uh, top five concealed carry, I'll do a card up there. I hope that's where it is. I'm just, I am getting like a little buzz right now. I'll do a card up there uh, to the top five summer concealed carry video. And this is my number one, uh, my favorite summer concealed carry holster. Uh, I've been using these holsters for like their belly bands. Just watch the, watch the video. James, here's the Defender I promised you, as well as a newer model we're making with a leather sweat guard. All of us here hope that they can give you years of good use. We don't expect anything in return. Just if you ever have the time, we would love to hear your feedback. We're a small family-run business, and we like to hear what we can improve. Thank you again, David at Active Pro Gear. That is very nice. We actually corresponded after he saw the video. I told him what, what a big fan I was of his products. So they're actually a super cool company. Guys, go watch a video so you can see. It's like, I mean, you can get out of there. You get out of there and on it. You can get to work really quick. This beer has attracted so many flies. I cannot believe this. Anyways, I hate you guys for doing this to me. There are flies everywhere because of this beer. I hate you, but I love you at the same time. Thank you guys so much for sending in mail. Um, send stuff into Mailroom. I think that was like the last of it. I think that's um, out of mail. I haven't checked the PO box this week, but uh, that was it as of like last Friday. So anyways, uh, guys, I love you and I hate you. Uh, see you next week.